Aaron Rodgers recently revealed how injured he was in 2018. He was healthy enough to play the entire season, but some may think it would have been wise to sit a few games in order to not suffer a more serious injury, so where does that leave Rodgers in 2019 in terms of his health? David J. Chow, a former NFL head team doctor recently wrote an article for the San Diego Tribune on Rodgers' injury, which was a tibial plateau fracture and MCL sprain, and he said Packers fans should not be worried about Rodgers this upcoming season, because he will be 100% healthy, Packers fans should not get agitated about this, Chow wrote. Rodgers should already be healed from both the MCL and tibial plateau injury and be healthy for the start of the season. Rodgers talked about his injury on ESPN Wisconsin this week and he said he was in a lot of pain. If you watch the hit back, just my two bones that come together on the outside just kind of made an indent fracture. Rodgers said, very painful. The good thing was it's not super weight-bearing, load-bearing every single time, but there's definitely some movements and things you do naturally that affected it. Rodgers re-injured the knee in the game against the Lions and that frustrated Rodgers because he was starting to get better. The MCL was frustrating because it did start to get better and then Christian Jones tackled me on the sideline in Detroit early in the game and it basically reset the whole thing. Rodgers said, I don't feel like after the first quarter of the season, the first game, I really wasn't 100% the entire year. That's not an excuse for the way I played or didn't play, but it limited my mobility for a good part of the season. The thing about Rodgers' injury is Houston Texans defensive end JJ. Watts suffered the same injury in 2017 which led to him being placed on injured reserve. So why was Rodgers able to play while well, Watt had to be on the sidelines? The NFL draft takes place on April 25 and the Packers have 10 picks. Make sure you're in the loop. Take 5 seconds to sign up for our free Green Bay Packers newsletter now. Because while they were anatomically the same area of fracture, the degree of the injury was not close, Chow wrote. It would be like comparing a hairline crack underneath the surface of a sidewalk to a pothole through which one could not walk or ride a bike. What had a displaced comminuted fracture that was detectable even on the exam and obviously seen on x-ray from across the room? Rogers' lateral tibial plateau fracture was not visible on x-rays and needed an MRI to detect it, along with a knee injury, Rogers suffered a concussion in the final game of the year, the concussion was so bad, he said he temporarily could not see, I lost vision, definitely peripheral vision, he said. I got hit and I came to the sidelines and I was sitting on the bench and I went back out there and by that third series, the normal 180 degree plus peripheral had shrunk to like blinders. It's the first time I ever took myself out of a game. But I didn't have any lingering effects. I was talking with our docs and I felt like I would have been cleared, actually, that next week. Because again, head injuries are all different. Devontae Adams took that crazy shot against Chicago in 2017 and then played the next week because some guys bounce back and some guys don't. I had zero recurring issues. The good news is Rodgers is currently going through the offseason workouts and he's ready to have a bounce back year. And how the way the offseason has recently gone for Rodgers, he's probably ready to start the regular season right now.